Hi, this is an update on how to export ExamView test to uh, your Canvas quizzes. Previously, ExamView was working um, well when you used the WebCT export and then use that as a QTI import into your Canvas course. However, in a recent update to ExamView, uh, a lot of people have noticed that the multiple choice questions in particular are coming back with point values of 100 points each and then you have to go into canvas and you have to go into every single question question by question and change the points from 100 to usually one point or whatever you'd like them to be so hopefully this um, updated method will um, help alleviate that so this is exam view on the pc version 6.2.1 and I've loaded a sample test here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just show you that you need to check your preferences. So you're going to go to the edit menu, click on preferences, and then over here where it says points, um, just scan real quickly that um, these are the correct point values that you want. And then make sure you say OK if you change anything. Um, for my case, they're all going to be one point each. So that's just the way I want it. Now I'm going to go over here to the file menu and I'm going to select export. And normally I, I would um, select the WebCT format. However, um, the point issue is, is kind of a pain. So I'm going to select Blackboard 7.1 through 9.0 here. I'm going to export this to my desktop. I'll just call it Waves Quiz. And I'm going to save it. Um, again, I, it's asking for a name here, so I'll call it Waves Quiz again. Don't need a description. Uh, I'll leave all the formats the same here. And then I'll click OK. Oops. I must enter a directory name, image directory. Oh, okay. I'll just call this images. All right. And therefore, it should be exported now. So I'll minimize this window. I'll take a look on my uh, desktop. There I can see the waves quiz right here that I just exported, and it's in a zip file. Now I'm going to go to um, my Canvas course. This is the course that I want to pull in or import the uh, quiz to. So I'm in my settings. I'm going to go to um, import content into this course. Okay, I'm going to select a content type. Now, I am going to select the Blackboard 6789 export.zip file. Um, instead of the QTI file that I normally would select. So I'm going to select that. Uh, I'm going to choose my file and point it at uh, that file that was on my desktop that was I called Waves Quiz. I open that. Um, I can create a new question bank for this. So I'm just going to call it Waves. And I'll select all count content and that looks good. I'm going to import. And this will take a couple minutes to um, go ahead and run, but it's usually pretty quick. All right, so it's completed uh, the run. Now I'm going to go over here and, and check out what happened. So I'm going to click on my quizzes. And uh, I can see that there's a waves quiz here with 31 questions. That looks great. Now let me take a look at the questions here. Okay, the distance between. Okay. All right. Okay, now the points have fixed itself. And uh, that question looks great. My images have come through. Everything is looking really good on this quiz. All my images are there. 
Um, it looks like everything imported great. And now I can click save and publish and everything should be good. So if that's all you need, you should be good to go. Now, s some people have um, noted in the Canvas community that when you do this, if you are using numeric response questions, they are imported as fill in the blank. So um, be aware that you may have to change those questions if you have numeric response questions in exam view. If that works for you, then that's probably the easiest way to export exam view uh, questions or question banks and pull them into Canvas. If you want to continue to use the WebCT format, um, stick around uh, and I'll show you a workaround that you can use for that. Otherwise, um, that's all you need to know. If you want to continue to use the WebCT format um, for whatever reason, uh, maybe you have a lot of numeric response questions and you don't want to change all those. You can, but uh, you'll have to go in and edit the file before you upload it to Canvas. So here's what that looks like. So here's the same test that I was using in the example that I showed for the Blackboard export. You're going to go ahead and export this as um, WebCT CE6 Vista 4. And I'll call this uh, web CT quiz. And I'm going to save it. I'll use the test title. Click OK. It's saved and exported to my desktop. I'll minimize this now. So you can see this is um, right here. This web CT quiz is the one that I just produced. Now what we're going to do is I'm right clicking on this and I'm going to click extract all. I'll extract it. Um, now I'm in the folder that you can see it's web CT quiz folder. And you'll notice if you dig in the QIZ um, 0M folder here, there's a folder that's called data. You want to be in there. And what you want to do is you want to right click on the questions DB the questions database and you want to select not open but you want to edit if you click open it'll open up in an explorer if you click edit it'll open up in uh, a text editor notepad and so uh, this is just the code that is the questions um, in the QTI format and what you'll notice here if, if you look uh, at the coding here and how the, the questions are coded it didn't keep the one point value. Uh, you'll see that the max value here uh, for each, this is written into each question. Uh, you can see that max value right there is 100 when it should say one. And then you'll also notice if you dig down into the correct um, response right here, here's the response is correct right here. You'll see that it's adding 100 right there for the, the points. That 100 doesn't seem to make a difference, but this right here, this max value 100 that's in quotes, that's what we need to change. So you can quickly change all that by going to the edit menu, and then you go to replace or control H if you want to use a shortcut. And then I'm going to select um, quotation mark 100 in quotation mark, and I'm going to select quotation mark. I want to change all those to, let's say, one point. Um, so I'm going to replace it with one in quotation marks. I'll click replace all and then boom, it's just done 31 replacements. I'll close this out. Yes, I want to save it. So it's been saved. Uh, I can go back a level or back a couple levels here. Actually, let me close this window out. And this is what I just edited. I need to zip it. So to zip it, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to um, send to compressed zip folder. And now it's, um, you can see that it's web CT uh, quiz two has just been created. I probably should have deleted the first one, but the two is the one that I've edited and rezipped. So then I would go into my canvas course. I would go into settings. Um, I'll just walk you through that really quickly. 
So um, here's the previous quiz that I was using. I'll get out of this. I'll, I'll get out of this. I'll go into settings. And then I would go to import content into this course. And then I would uh, go ahead and I'll select QTI. And then I would choose the file, uh, the WebCT2, hit open, and then go ahead and click import. Uh, and that would come through, all your images will come through, all the point values will be correct. And that's another workaround for the, um, the 100 point glitch in ExamView. So hopefully this information is helpful to you and will save you a lot of time as you import quizzes from ExamView into Canvas.